Welcome to Mork Vet Gaming. Today we are painting and trading paints. And we're going to pick a pattern. Now this pattern at the moment is a red, green, and blue pattern. But we're going to change it. It's going to be white, gray, and black. We're going to do an inverted Dale Earnhardt or Kevin Harvick car to a point. And then we had a little issues there, so we got to go back and do that. Okay. Now I get all my logos on Google. I save them as PNG transparent. And this one's huge. Gigantic. So you got to make it small. And this program's basically like a GIMP or a Photoshop program. But that's still quite a bit big. Now we're going to put it in this green box. And that just got perfect size. Now we're going to duplicate it. We're going to put it on the other side. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Turn out sponsor block. See how it looks. Move it up. Do a little finessing. That one needs to be moved up just a bad bit. And you can turn off all the stickers. The Dollar General stickers. We're going to put one on the back end. That one's still too big. Actually, later on in the video, you're going to notice that that gets changed. You can turn on the wire frame to see the contours of the car. Now we're going to start putting on secondary sponsor, oh, primary on the front end. This one's super huge, but you'd rather um, grab an image or a logo, whatever you want to call it, um, bigger than you need. So that's what we did there. Once again, saved it in transparent. Uh, there's other programs where it doesn't have to be saved as transparent. Um, Canva, uh, you can do it, but that's a paid subscription part of Canva. Um, Gip does it, um, but it's pretty frustrating when you first start it up. Now the green lines around the car are where the um, contours of the panels change. So you don't want to be on it. But all the secondary logos, you, you can just not do it. That's going to go on the back end of the car. On the deck lid. And perfect size. We got a few more sponsors to put on the side of the car. Monkeying about the lo logo up there. Gonna throw the snap on on, which is a bit big. We're going to turn on the number blocks. That would work if I really wanted it to, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller. 
And you always duplicate and rotate it 180 degrees. So the other side of the panel, try to put it in the same spot. All right. We got Snap-on sponsorship on. Now we got the Oreos up. That one's gigantic too. It's got to get smaller. Much smaller. Still too big. That is perfecto. Put it in its spot, rotate it, and it's good to go. Next sponsorship. Now we see this Good Ridge Service logo. And we're just going to get rid of it. The Service Plus in the back. Obviously, and it's good smaller. And put it in there. Let's see if we got it on the right part of the panel. And it's a little too high. I'm just double checking so we don't have to turn on the wire frame again. And as you guys can see, I've painted a few cars. Now, this is going to be our secondary sponsor. Bass Pro Shops. And it's still real big. And to keep the logo consistent, you just duplicate every one of them. And this is at real time speed. And we decided to do Menards. Yes, I know. Dale Earnhardt, Kevin Harvick, never were sponsored by Menards. DEI was, but not Earnhardt or Kevin Harvick. That would fit right there, but we're going to move it. We're going to put it on top of the Oreo snap-ons. But it's perfecto. Rotate it. And this car is coming together really well. And you don't have to leave the spot for the spawn or the car number. You can put the numbers in there. Um, but I normally let iRacing put in a number. Could put a three in if I really wanted to, or the twenty-nine. Now, when you get into iRacing, you're gonna want to change your number colors or whatever you want with your scheme. So each time you change your scheme, don't forget to change your Number, um, your um, rims also can be changed. You can go chrome, you can do gloss, you can do semi-gloss, whatever the case may be. Don't forget to change those. Uh, right now we're running a black rim, so you don't have to change it. But we're changing the color of the numbers here, and it's going to get changed one more time. And that is the final car. It turned out really nice. You, you could go straight crazy with it and put all kinds of sponsors in. Like that Oreos on this side um, could have been moved over a little bit. 
And like I said, you can turn off the secondary sponsors. You can turn off the general tire. Over here, it looks great. But on the other side, it's a little too far down. Or a little too far to the gray and black. But I think this car turned out really good um, for a quick build. Um, until next time, we'll see you on the track. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, and you all have a good day.